All right. All right. From here, everyone's ready. It. There's a stance and kunge. All right. Uh, student tenants and begin. Honor, courage, integrity, perseverance, self control, courtesy, and community. Okay, yay. And June B. All right, so from here, first thing we're going to do today, we're, we're going to start off with some squats. So we're going to do squats for 45 seconds. Now, to improve on the squats, if you want to, uh, one of the things is you want to have that back nice and straight. So if you need help, if you want to help with that, look up. Okay, when you go to do the squats, look up to the ceiling. That'll help you keep your back nice and straight. Okay, because you want to have good posture. All right, so 45 seconds and begin. Squat, 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 squat. Get nice and low. Good, good, good. I'm going to reserve a little bit of energy today because I got to teach kickboxing right after this. But, uh, but I will do, I, you know, I will make sure that I'm demonstrating everything and things of that nature for you. So getting low, doing squats. I just got to reserve a little bit of energy for kickboxing in an hour. So doing great though, 15 seconds. Very good, very good. Almost there, almost there. All right, next what we're gonna do, we're gonna do some jumping jacks. We're gonna do some jumping jacks just like so. Okay, jumping jacks for 45 seconds. Starting now. Make sure we're swinging our arms all the way through. Okay, make sure we're not slacking by any means. All right, getting those jumping jacks in as many as we can. As many as we can. 30 seconds, 30 seconds. Uh, I wonder where the fifers are, Miss McCarty. They said they were going to do it again. Wonder if they got the link or not. Might have some, might be having some trouble reconnecting. Keep it going. Almost through. Two, one, and time. All right, the next one we're going to do is you're going to get down on your back. You're going to have your feet up. And you're going to go from side to side just like so. It's called Russian twist. And begin. So I'm gonna demonstrate it for a few seconds. So my feet are off the ground, that helps with my balance. And if you do absolutely need to have your feet on the ground, that is okay. But eventually you do wanna start, uh, try to work your way into getting your feet off the ground. So even if it's, you know, picking up one foot, you know, kind of transitioning to the other and having that second or two where both feet are off the ground, that's all right. But going from side to side. About 15 more seconds. Keeping it going, keeping it doing, do good, doing good. Awesome. Five more seconds. You got this. Two, one, and time. Next one, we're going to go ahead and get down, put our hands under our butt. We're going to be doing flutter kicks, just like so, keeping those legs nice and locked out. Notice my feet are not hitting the ground by any means. And begin. My foot, the one that's on closest to the ground, is about an inch or two off the ground. Okay. Very good, very good. Keeping those legs nice and locked out. No knees bent, no knees bent. Keep those feet out. Very good. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Doing great, doing great. Keep it going, keep it going. Five seconds, five more seconds. Two, one, and time. All right, last one for the day. Last one for the warm up for the day. Push up for 45 seconds. All right, so everyone down on your bellies. Show me your awesome black belt style push ups and begin. Black belt style push ups. Let me see how good they are. Doing as many as you can in 45 seconds. Good job, good job, keep it going, don't quit, don't give up, don't stop. Your body's gonna tell you to give up, don't listen to it. Keep it going, keep it going, 15 seconds. You've got this.
five, four, three, two, one, and time. All right, let's go ahead and stretch it out. Forward arm swing. Forward arm swing. Now remember when you're stretching, you do not want to go super, super fast. Okay, you don't want to go slow either. You want to find a good medium to where you're swinging your arms all the way through, but getting that stretch in, working those shoulders. Okay, that's what we're doing is we're loosening up our shoulders. Very good, and backwards. Awesome job. All right, now we're gonna take our one hand across our body. We're gonna pull it in. Very good, now make sure when you're pulling it in, pull it in nice and strong. I pull in at my elbow so that way I keep my uh, this arm nice and locked out. Okay, because if I pull here, then it's going to bend a little bit. I want to keep that arm straight. I want to keep that arm nice and straight, locked out. Very good. And switch, other side. So remember, you take the one hand, put it across, grab your elbow, and pull it in. There we go. Very good, very good. Awesome. And now from here, take the other hand, put it behind your head. You're going to take your elbow, and you're going to pull it in. And then when you do that, I want you to take your chin, and I want you to lift up. Okay, I want you to lift up just like so. That way you're going to get in the best stretch you can get with this. If your chin's down, your arm's going to relax and it's not really, it's stretching, but it's not stretching to its most essential. I want you to lift your chin up. Very good. And switch, other side. Excellent job, excellent job. Keep holding it. All right, now go ahead and take your arms, arm swing, kind of shake it out. Very good job, very good job. All right, now from here, let's go ahead and take our hands on our hips and hip circle. Excellent job, and other way. Very good, very good. All right, now let's go have a seat. And butterfly stretch, feet together. Grab your ankles, pull it in. And you're gonna take your elbows, and you're gonna push down onto the ground. Now, from here, what I want you to do is I want you to take your chest and I want you to get down to the floor as close as possible. Very good. Holding it as long as you can. All right, now let's take one leg out and let's. Reach down. Very good, very good. And switch, other side. All right, now from here, let's take our feet out front, uh, apart. 
and we're going to be going from side to side. When you go from side to side, I want you to go to one side, count to three, and then go to the other. Okay, feet apart, and begin. One, two, three, and switch. Just like so. Keep it going. Really reaching down. All right, now reach down the middle. All right, let's go ahead and stand up. And from here, let's go ahead and take our one foot out and ankle rotations. And while you're doing this too, if you, if you wanna, you know, rotate your wrists and stuff too, you can, all right. And other way, okay, whatever to help also the smaller joints, our ankles, our wrists, things of that nature. All right, go ahead and go to the other side. Or other foot, I mean, other foot, rotate. Other way. Very good. And now from here, let's go ahead and take our hands behind our back and we're gonna take our ears to our shoulder, ears to our shoulder. Very good, very good. Really stretching, so make sure you're trying to get as far as you can with the stretches and up and down. Excellent, all right, now let's work left to right. And head circles. The other way. Very good job. Awesome. And Chitty It. Chitty Stance. And Kung Ye. By the way, Chitty It, for those that don't know, is uh, Attention Stance in Korean. All right. So everyone, let's go to Jumbi. So from here, what we're going to start off today is we're going to start off if you did, uh, like I said, if you took, uh, if you're able to see last night's class video um, or took it took the class, then uh, you're gonna notice it's gonna be similar, but with a different kick today. Uh, if you have not, like I said, this is gonna be still new for you as well, um, but we're going to, but I want you to watch that video after, okay? Or later on at some point when you get a chance. So what we're gonna start today though with, is we're gonna work on our side kicks, okay? We're gonna work on the different style of side kicks. What we're first gonna start off with is a number one side kick, which is our front side kick, our front leg side kick. Now the three things we're gonna look for, Outside of the sidekick itself, we're going to be looking for, we're going to be concentrating on the chambers and the re-chambers, and then we're also going to concentrate on the foot shape, okay? And what I mean by that is, is your foot standing up and down, or is it sideways like it's supposed to? Are you hitting with the heel, or are you hitting with the toes? Okay, things of that nature. Now, to answer those questions, yes, you do know, you do want your foot sideways, and you want to hit with your heel. The reason why you want to hit with your heel is because the heel is attached to the leg, right? It's attached to all the bones, muscles, and everything else through here. That's gonna give you the most power you can. When you kick with those toes, your toes do not have all that behind it, right? So when you kick with your toes, you're not gonna have the most effective kick as, as you could if you did with the heel. It's not necessarily wrong, but it is in a, uh, less effective, okay? So we're gonna start off in our spine stance. Whatever leg is in front, my left leg is in front right now. I know for some of you, this is my right, um, but my left leg is in front. We're going to start off in our spine stance. Hands are up, okay? We're going to bring our knee to our chest, okay, or our elbow, all right? Make sure you're bringing those knees to your chest or elbows. When you're bringing your foot to the butt, you're preparing for that round kick. So I want knees here, and notice my foot is already pointed out and shaped up. That way then when I go to push, I'm pushing through. Okay, if you are here, right, or anything like that, then 
I want you to bring that knee more into your chest, okay? More into your chest, just like so. Okay, the other thing that's gonna help with this kick, just like any other kick, is the pivoting, okay? Make sure, so when I'm here and I go to do that side kick, notice this foot, this one here, is pointed sideways. But when I go to actually do the kick, it turns to help me with that balance. If I was not to turn my foot and to pivot, I'm gonna fall, right? So I wanna make sure I pivot really, really good. Okay, so we're gonna do five times each leg. So put your leg, one, whatever leg in front that you want first, hands are up, and we're gonna do a number one front leg side kick. Here we go, ready? And one, two, three, four, and five. Very good. Let's go to the other side. Here we go. And one, two, three, four, and five. All right, other side. All right, so now we're going to add on from that. So the other thing, too, about side kicks is they are a push kick, right? So if someone's holding the target or, you know, you're sparring somebody or anything like that, you know, you're pushing your leg out there to push them, okay? Um, but so from here, so you want to make sure you're pushing that kick out, okay? From here, we're going to take our left, you know, left leg back in front. So after we do that front leg side kick, now as soon as I land it, I'm going to bring my other foot around in front of me. I'm doing a number two side kick, okay? So I'm here, boom. I've got to turn my whole body and I pivot already. Side kick with the other leg. All right, so one leg doing one kick and then the back leg coming around and doing the other. Same concept though, the knee comes to your chest, you push out with your heel, you bring it back to your chest and turn it down. Now, from here though, what I want us to do is when we do that number two side kick, I want us to land in front, then reset. I want us to land in front. For breaking purposes, we're getting used to that landing in front, right? Going through the target, following through, not coming back, okay? So make sure you land that kick in front. Here we go, hands are up. Ready, and one. Very good. And two. Awesome. And three. Now, I will say, last class, we had some beautiful side kicks. Ms. McCarty can agree on that, I'm sure. We had some beautiful side kicks. How much, how better can they look with this class? Can we look a lot better with this class? I think we can. Ready? And four. Excellent. And five. All right, now let's put the other leg in front. From here, what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna do it with you. I'm going to be watching, okay? So I'm gonna count. I'm gonna uh, watch with Ms. McCarty to see how we are looking, how good we are looking. So hands up, other legs in front now, here we go. And one. Excellent, excellent. Two. Good, now Mr. Stark, make sure it's not a spin sidekick. We bring that foot in front of us, okay? So, so this is a spin where we turn our whole body around. So when we're here, we take this leg. This is the leg you're kicking with in the first time, right? This is the front leg for you? Okay, making sure. So we're gonna bring it around in front of us to kick. So bring that around in front of you. Yes, just like that, excellent. Very good job, and three. Very good. Good job, Haynes, kids. Four. Very nice, very nice. Knees are coming to our chest, that's great. That's great. Last one, five. Nice job, nice job. All right, so from here, we're gonna add another kick to this. Color ranks. We're going to add a spin side kick, okay? A little. Try again. Color ranks. You're gonna do a spin side kick after that. So when you're here, you do the front leg side kick. You come around and side kick that way. 
when you land that foot, notice I can't turn this way, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn the other way and spin, okay? Black belt, you are going to do a jump spin side kick. All right, jump spin side kick. Color ranks, you have the option if you feel confident with the spin. If you wanna add the jump in, you're more than welcome to. But black belt, you are doing a jump spin side kick. So when you're here, you do the side kick number one, side kick number two, jump side kick number three. Jump spin side kick number three. All right. So black belts, I want to see that. If for whatever reason, you know, I know, uh, you know, we're, this is the defenders and guardians. So if you have medical reasons why you may not be able to, that is okay. Do what you can. But I would prefer to see what, what level you are, what you can do. Okay. So from here. First two ones I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do the regular spin for the color ranks that are doing the spin. The last three on this side I'm gonna do with the jump. All right, so we're here, everyone hands up. Here we go. And one. Number two side kick to a spin side kick. Or black belts doing jumps. Two. Good, Mr. Grady, make sure you're getting up in the air, sir, jumping. All right, I'm gonna do a jump with it. And three. Good, yes, I really wanna see those, those feet get off the ground, get them up in the air. Here we go, and four. Nice, 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 nice. Last one this side. And five. All right, now from here, other side, last set, last set. So I wanna see your best one, okay? This is the last, last one, last group. So I wanna see your best one, okay? Show me the best you can do. I know we're probably retired. We've been doing a lot of sidekicks. I wanna see, can we still keep going? You ready? So hands up, other leg in front now. Number one sidekick. To a number two side kick, to a spin or a spin jump side kick. Go ahead. What I want you to do first is kind of map it out. I want you to just get the feel for the direction you're going because I know for some of us, we usually pick the, our dominant leg to begin with. So I want you to get used. Just go through it real quick just to make sure you've got the right directions and things of that nature. So I'd rather you do it now, not actually fully doing it and get the feel for it, then go to actually do it, and then you get spaghetti. All right, here we go. One hand up, or both hands are up. Other leg in the front, here we go. And one, number one side kick, number two side kick, spin or jump spin. Very nice. And two. Good, very good. And three. Very good. Two more to go. Can we do it? Four. Excellent. Biggest thing too, make sure always, always, always when you do any type of kick, make sure you can see your target. Do not kick without being seen the direction you're going. Last one, can we do it? Best one, hands up. Last one, come on, and five. Awesome job, awesome job. All right, from here. Okay, let's go ahead, let's break down the form. So our new form this cycle, for those of you that was with, with me last night, we're gonna review those steps and maybe add another move or two into it, um, but we're going to review through. And before we get started with the form though, I wanna break the moves down, okay? I wanna break the moves down and just get a feel for them and start practicing with them, okay? So what we're gonna do here is I want you to take your right hand, I want you to hold it out in front of you like a punch. Your left hand, I'm gonna scoot forward so that way you can see details. I want you to curl your fingers because they're doing a palm strike form style. Form style palm strike. What I want you to do to begin with is I want you just here transitioning through. Okay, just continuously going back and forth. Now, there's a few critiques that I'm gonna do though to help make sure that we're doing it properly. A, make sure you're not going so fast, okay? This is a form, so take your time, okay? B, 
Notice where my jacket comes connected, right? It makes that V. It comes connected about right here at my center of my chest. If you have a jacket on, that's what I want you to reference with. If you don't, just try to find that focal point, okay? Find that point. I want you aiming there. So notice my hand is in front of where my jacket comes across. So I'm not going low and I'm not doing it high. I'm doing it right at chest level, body level. Now, the other thing with it is something that is just like a small detail for me. Um, and it's one that I've, I had to work on a lot with myself as well. Is when we're here, okay, notice when I'm doing it, I'm not moving my shoulders. My hand is moving to where I need it to. So I'm not doing this motion. Notice where my shoulders are not aligned anymore. I'm keeping them where they're at and I'm going right to where my hands should go, right in the middle. Okay, I want you focusing on that. So try to like tense up your shoulders, you know, try not to move them and see if you can move your hand without moving that shoulder and it landing to make that triangle shape. And yeah, a triangle shape. Very good, very good. All right, so moving on from that, the next move that the next move that we're gonna do after that one is punches. So when you punch, make sure that thumb is out. Okay, do not have that thumb in. If you've ever punched with your thumb being inside your hand, do you understand why? If not, it takes one time and you'll learn why not ever to do it again. So, but I'd recommend not learning that. All right, so make sure fingers, then thumb. Punching, notice as I'm punching, my wrist rotates. My wrist is rotating. Okay, that's what you want. So go ahead and start from here, going from your belt to punching right in the middle of your chest. Body punches, body punches. Very good, very good. All right, I think punches punch are pretty simple. So what we're gonna do now, the next move we're gonna do, a couple cycles ago we did it. We're going to revisit it. It's a square block, okay? And if you have not, if you don't remember what a square block is, but it's okay, going over it now. So what I want you to do is I want you to hold your hands out like this, palms up. Now I want you to pretend that somebody just poured change into your hands, you know, whether it's pennies, dimes, nickels, quarters, whatever. I want you to close those fists and Make sure that change doesn't fall, okay? Do not drop that change. I want you to take this hand, your left hand, I want you to put it on your belt. Now your right hand, I want you to put it on top, still facing up, so you don't drop that change. Okay, that's the easiest way I can explain it that uses sense of, you know, things that we do on a normal basis. Now, from here, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna keep my hands closed. My hands are going to come in front of me, Kind of like an X style, rotate and then out. I'm doing an outer forearm block and a high block at the same time. And the reason why it's called a square block is because if you look at my elbow here, it has a 90 degree or ish, okay? This one also has roughly a 90 degree angle. That's why it's called a square block. Because ideally if you have two 90 degree angles then where the points connect, the other two points are probably more than likely a 90 degree angle. All right, so I want you here holding that change, square block. Here, hold the change, square block. Rotating those, fit, or those wrists, getting used to that. Getting used to it and going through the motion. Remember, not going so fast, really concentrating on the small details. Very good, very good. All right, from here, next move we're gonna do. It is, it's gonna be two, your hands are gonna do two different things at the same time, okay? This is actually one of my favorite moves of this one. So what we're gonna do is, you're, I want you to take your right hand, I want you to reach out. Your left hand is going to go palm down on your belt. Notice how my hands are, okay? So I'm reaching for something or somebody, right? My hand's here, I'm going to then, Pull them into my shoulder, and while my other hand does a body uppercut. Okay, so that's the, that's the two moves at the same time, just like so. Now I'm gonna do it the other way because I want you to listen to, to when I hit my shoulder. So I'm here. I don't know if you can hear that or not, but that's how you create that power. 
that sense of power. You know, striking. Okay, you want to have good power in your form, right? Now, don't actually like hit hit yourself so hard to where you know you, you bruise yourself or leave a mark or anything like that. But I want you to have that sense of power. So you're here, boom, right on that shoulder. Okay, right on that collarbone, as if you're grabbing, you know, your own shoulder. Okay, but what, ideally, what you're doing is you're grabbing here, you are here, and boom. By the way, I want to pinpoint back when we were doing these square blocks. What it is is uh, imagine somebody's got, you know, two sticks in their hands, two bats, you know, whatever like that, and they're coming through like this, like this, you know, however way, and you're protecting your head and you're protecting your chest at the same time, okay, your body, okay? But go ahead and work in that body uppercut. Very good. Now, another small detail on this one is when I'm going through and doing this, my elbow, this elbow is sitting almost in this up in my other elbow. Okay. It's kind of like cut, uh, holding it in place. Okay. So I'm here, come through, boom. Just like so. All right. From here, let's go ahead and go through these stances that we're going to be doing for the first few moves. The first stance is going to be our sitting stance. So go ahead and show me your sitting stance. Okay, we'll review these very briefly because I know we are intermediate, advanced, and black belt levels. So I expect you to know these stances, but I do want to review them just in case it's never a wrong time to review stances. Make sure knees are bent. Okay, another thing, small, uh, big detail, but small detail. It's a, I know we're comfortable with our heels being in like this, but I want you to turn those heels out where your feet are in a straight line. Knees bent, nice posture, have your back up, straight up. Just like so. Okay, the other one is our back stance. So make sure both knees are bent. My feet are pointed at the shape of an L. The other thing is too, small detail for this one. Notice my hip, I'm gonna lean backwards. Okay, so I'm not perfectly centered. I'm not sitting 50-50. I'm about 70, 30, 80, 20, somewhere around there. Okay, so I'm leaning backwards so I can pick this foot up. Ideally, what a back stance is, is if someone wants to come through and, you know, sweep this leg, you can just pick it up and not fall. Okay. Very good. And then the last stance we're going to focus on is our fixed stance, which, remember, is the longer back stance. It's the shape of a back stance with the length of a sitting stance. And I'm 50-50. Okay. All right. From here, let's go ahead and jump into the form. The form of the cycle is called... Wadong, 29 moves for the advanced and black belt levels. There were 29 moves for this cycle. Uh, intermediates, I cannot remember how many moves off the top of my head, how, uh, how many there is for you guys and girls, but it was less than 29, I can guarantee that. Okay, but um, Wadong is actually one of my favorite forms. This form I actually used to do a lot in uh, tournaments and stuff it, because it's not, I know we're used to the traditional, you know, you do, you know, two or three moves this way, I'm going to turn this way and do two to three moves this way. Wadong isn't really like that. It's got a lot of different just spaghetti, sloppy joe kind of moves. So I want, so this was actually a really great form that shows a lot of stances, a lot of different moves. And as long as you can sharpen it up, sharpen that saw for the form, then it can be a really great form to do in uh, tournaments and stuff. Okay. So, but from here, we're going to go ahead, go to June B. For June B for our form, our feet are together. My right hand is going to spear down. My left hand spears down in front of it. Okay, that's the June B for the form. We're here. Now, two chamber, feet are together. Two chamber for the form, for the next, for the first move. Make sure our feet are together all the way. Feet together. Mr. Cardi, I don't know who that is, but I can see somebody's feet aren't together. Connor is not standing. There we go. He just disappeared. <laughs> okay. All right, so uh, I don't know who it was then, but, I, but they fixed it, which is good. So feet are together, we're here. So what we're going to do is I want you to pick up your left foot. I want you to prepare like we were doing those palm strikes. I want you to land into a sitting stance and palm strike at the same time. Again, remember where that palm strike should be sitting, okay? From here, I'm going to scoot over so that way I'm in the center. I want you to punch one hand. Or with your right hand, punch two with your left hand. 
Those two punches are one move. But technically, we've only done two moves, okay? I know we're used to every move being a move, but that, that's just how it works. All right, so we're here at June B. Okay, those are the first, three, first two moves we're going to do that I want us to focus on. So everyone, chamber. Mr. Grady, I have not said the move yet. I said the chamber. There we go. And one, palm strike. Good. Curl those fingers. Curl those fingers. And two punches. Very good. All right, go ahead. Practice that on your own for the next 15, 30 seconds, somewhere on there. Practice that on your own. Going, starting at June B. Coming through. Landing your hands and feet at the same time. That is one of the biggest uh, things with forms is everything starts together and stops together. Really focusing on that. Going from June B. Palm strike, punch, punch. Give you about another maybe 10 seconds or so that we're going to add on from there. All right, team, moving on. So from here, June B. Okay, so everyone chamber, palm strike one, punch, punch, two. We're going to hold that change, go into a back stance, square block at the same time. So when we're here, my foot lifts up, comes through, boom, just like so. Okay, so let's do that again. Do B. Chamber, palm strike one. Punch, punch two. Chamber, square block three. Okay, let's do it again together. One more time, Do B. The reason why I'm having us constantly go back to 2B2 is because I know we're used to this one. I want to break that habit and make sure we have we spear hands down. Chamber, palm strike one. Punch, punch two. Chamber, change in hand, square block three. All right, go ahead, take your time, practice on that one a few times. Give about another, give about 30 seconds or so with that. If you have questions, let us know. Yeah, if you have questions, let us know. Me and Ms. Cardi are here to help to answer those questions for anybody that has any questions. Do not be afraid to ask. I'd rather you ask now because somebody else might be thinking about that question and you know not think uh, and not be able uh, you know not be thinking that they think that question and it might help them out too. If you have questions, ask. My phone just died. Okay, so uh, Mr. Stark, what we're doing is we're at UMB. How far did you get? Um, to punch, punch after the. Okay. Cool. So you haven't missed much. So we're here. We're gonna come through. We palm strike one. You know, palm strike in front. So don't palm strike up. It's not a block. It's a strike. Oh. There you go. Connor, go. make sure you're practicing, bud. Not just spinning punch, punch. around. And then from here, Mr. Stark, what we're doing is we're going to take our hands here like we we're holding that thing. Make sure you're Back practicing. Yes, yeah, that is where we're at right now. All right, about another 10, 15 seconds. Haynes, kids, come on. Let me see it. All right, from here, moving on. So, at June B, chamber, sitting stance, palm strike one, punch, punch two, chamber, square block three. Now this next chamber, we're gonna reach out and grab that person, hand comes to our belt facing down, and uppercut. Notice what we're doing here. We just, we've done this for the past Probably 10 minutes, and now we're putting it all together. All right, so let's go back, do it again. Back to Jim B. Chamber. Palm strike one. Punch, punch two. Chamber. Square block three. Chamber. Body uppercut. Okay, practice those four moves. 
practice those four moves. If you have questions, let us know. We're gonna have enough time to add another move in today. And then we're going to uh, finish out with the split. Yes, Camilla. Um, do you, <clears throat> when we do when we lift up our leg, what do we have to do for like the what do we do while we lifting up our leg? For the first move? Yeah. For the first move, when you lift that leg up, I uh, remember how we were here with the palm strike chambering and then we consistently did this? Mm -hmm. That's what we're doing. So when you're here at June B and you lift your leg up, you're making that fist, palm palm striking uh, chambering, and then as you go through the land, you push <clears throat> that palm strike. Thank you. You're welcome. Any other questions? Guys and girls, I'd rather you ask me questions and we, you know, we detail it out instead of, you know, waiting six, you know, six weeks know. from now. Do what now, Connor? Mm -hmm. What'd you say? Uh, um, when I'm right here doing the mm -hmm. stair block, do I mm -hmm. wrap around like this and then punch like this? Yes, yeah, so when you're here, come through. This is just a chamber, so so when you're here, and make sure this hand is an outer form block, okay? Make sure your palm is facing out both ways. I don't know if I mentioned that um, this last or not, but yes, and then you come through here, and then strike through. That's correct. How do you do the, the cross punch? I'm sorry, you kind of broke in and out there. How do you do the what? How do I do this part where I grab like this? Oh. So from here, this hand, I'm gonna break it down for you. This hand's going to hit your chest, or not your chest, but your shoulder. While this hand, I'll come up closer so you can see it. So I hit my shoulder, right? This hand comes through and twists to do an uppercut, a body uppercut, all right? So when we're here, boom, I come through, and then I hit my shoulder and uppercut, just like that. Yes, you got it. Thank you. You're welcome. Sort of, any, any other parts questions? of this form repeat? Uh, there are some parts of the form that does repeat. Um, but for the first beginning, I'd say probably, I think, eight or nine moves, it, there is no repetition. Okay, thanks. I was just wondering. Yeah. Yeah, there are some spots in the form that does repeat, but for the most part, it does not. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and add that last move in real quick. So everyone go to June B. I love the questions, guys and girls. I love the questions. Trust me. All right. I love the questions. I'd rather answer all the questions, repeating it 500 times than not being asked. Okay. So we chamber, palm strike one, punch, punch two, chamber, square block three, chamber, uppercut four. Now for this one, the hand that's doing the uppercut, we're going to extend it out while the other hand comes for our belt. Okay, we're going to pick our foot up, go into a fixed stance, punch with the same with the same side hand as that leg. So your right leg is punching, so your right or right leg is moving or in front, so our right hand punching. All right. So Jumbi, chamber, palm strike one, punch, punch two, chamber, square block three, chamber. Uppercut four, chamber, fix stance, punch five. So you had to uh, go reference back to that question. You notice the first five moves, none of them are really repetitive. So just to give you an idea, and that does not mean we're gonna go to the other side and do those same five moves if we're not, all right, I promise. Okay, but, all right, so I want you to go ahead, take the next 30 seconds or so, practicing those moves. Okay, practicing those moves, I will do them here as well. That way you can watch and follow along with me if you get stuck anywhere. I think this class has some yawning ones too. I'm seeing some yawns. 
I yawned for the first time this class about 15 <laughs> minutes ago. I yawned. You guys are looking good though. Catching on right, quick. So, all right, so from here, let's go ahead and jump into our splits challenge for the day. It Ooh. is a minute and 40 seconds. Minute and 40 seconds. All right, so go ahead. Let's everyone get into the splits. And as soon as everyone is in the splits, as soon as Ms. McCarty sees everybody in the splits, we will get started. I'm going to do it with you. This will be the third time I'm doing it today. I don't know where Connor went, but I'll go ahead. Come on, Connor, Connor, quick. I can't start till you get in splits. All right, go. Constant, never-ending improvement. Oh, the whole Take family's it. doing the split challenge at Connor's house. Yes. I like it. <laughs> For those of you that have taken class with me for a very long time, you have heard constant, never-ending improvement. Sean, have your dad come in there and do split challenge with you. <laughs> doing great you're doing great hang in there you guys are gonna have awesome splits by the end of this challenges I'd, I'd be surprised if i'm up to the floor i've never been able to do the splits all the way to the floor doing great team doing great What's up girl we're almost there Not much more. 10 seconds left. Come on, stop. Awesome. All right, from here. Great job to everybody today. Biggest thing, make sure when, you know, after class and stuff, when, you know, later on tonight, if you're not doing anything or whatnot, go through the form. Okay, practice those moves. We only did five moves today. I, you know, we, we just started this new cycle, so I'm not going to be rushing into getting, you know, all 29 moves through or anything like that. I want to take the time. I want to build those details up. I want to make sure that when we go to the next testing, regardless if it's in person or if we're still doing it via recorded, I want you to look the best. And so, you know, we're going to take our time through it. We're going to build from that. And I want you to, um, you know, succeed. So um, make sure that you're practicing at home. Uh, off the uh, off class time as well, you know, watching the recordings, you know, looking at the app, stuff like that, scheduling private lessons still, you know, we are here for that, all right? Uh, so, but I want to say great job to everybody today, for everyone that was eligible to test and submitted the videos and got the results back um, and everything else. I want to say congratulations for those that passed. And other than that, have an awesome rest of your day. And kickboxing starts in like 10 minutes if y'all want to do that. Um, beyond that, you guys are dismissed.